Hey everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Oh man, this game is amazing. I've, I've been looking forward to doing this LP for a while. By a while, of course, I mean two days since I started with Majora's Mask and Jack and Daxter. Yeah, I think I mentioned this in part one of Jack and Daxter. This is, uh, I plan for this to be the third project. Mainly because I think it's going to be the easiest one. It's the easiest for me to memorize where things are. Blue coins, red coins, shine sprites in general. I don't normally include these sorts of cutscenes, like the ones before the start menu, but this one definitely is worthy of it. I mean, after all, it's like the first half of the introductory cutscene. I want to give a shout out to Nintendo Capri Sun and 900 Red Yoshi, because the two of them... Well, let me just explain. For a couple of years now, I was actually... I didn't give the, I didn't give this game the credit it deserved. I was just kind of I always kind of thought that it was uh, beneath Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Galaxy, and I just didn't appreciate it for some reason. And uh, at least when I was younger, the funny thing is that it's aimed at a younger audience, and yet now that I'm older, for some reason, it's so much easier for me to appreciate this type of game. So I really want to thank the both of them, especially Nintendo Capri Sun. I mean, his videos. Were I mean, he's the one that inspired me to start doing LPs in the first place. So, this this whole LP, along with Majora's Mask, is kind of like my way of thanking him for that. I mean, obviously I'm going to branch off into my own games, and Jack and Daxter is my example of doing something that I thought of on my own. But, I think I'm definitely going to enjoy this. We're already two minutes in, but whatever. If this is just the first cutscene, then so be it. This is the file that I recently completed a couple weeks ago. This is my practice file for this LP, and needless to say, this is the file we'll be using for the LP. And here's the second half of the cutscene we just watched. That I, you know, spoke through entirely. Anyway, Mario and Peach are on vacation, and once they land, well, they realize that it's not going to be as much of a vacation as they thought it was going to be. That little jingle is just so random. What's this icky paint like goop? It's golden. You know, aside from the graphics and the inclusion of Flood, I think, you know, one of the more shocking features of this game is the fact that it actually incorporates voice acting to an extent. It's a pretty cool idea, but to be honest, I, I just don't think it's, uh, it just doesn't seem to fit with the Nintendo feel. But I can't really put them down for it because it was, they were just experimenting. And at least they didn't give Mario a voice, which I'm very grateful for. It's not that big of a deal because you don't see that many cutscenes in this game anyway, but... Mario, be careful. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, that sounds like a girl's voice. Mario, be careful! Nah. I'm not going to do generic falsetto girl voice. Anyway, this is Flood. This is your best friend. Flood is actually pretty cool. Power up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Yeah, that's Preparing just Nintendo's way of referring to their other game, Luigi's Mansion. Classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom. I don't know if you noticed, but in the bottom left corner, they had a little couple of clips from Super Mario World and Super Mario 64. I hope to be of assistance. Yeah, so, um, Proceeding with user deployed it shortly, uh, Use the R button eh, screw it. <laughs> I was gonna explain, but I'll just let the tutorial do it for now. I got a couple comments from my friends that, um, I'm really low when I do these LPs, especially the first couple parts of Majora's Mask. And so, if I'm a bit louder, that's, I'm just trying to improve, so, whatever. You know, to be honest, it doesn't even have to be a body of water. If, I mean, if there's like a hose and it's like shooting out at like a 45 degree angle or something like that, and the water's just sort of flowing onto the ground, you can just like stand in the middle of it, and the tank will actually refill itself. It's a pretty cool feature. 
Anyway, I was gonna... I was gonna go over some examples of how to use the flood and whatnot, but... We might as well just beat this boss, I mean... I think that should give you a little bit of intuition as to how to use this, if you haven't already played this game. So anyway... You find that center of goop and you just keep shooting at it till this guy comes out. Every time he has his mouth open, that's when you want to shoot directly into it. Yeah, as strange as it sounds, water is a very dangerous weapon in this game. And I don't mean like in terms of drowning, I mean literally as a weapon. The boss, you're, well this particular boss, you're, you actually fight him quite a few times, but at least it's, uh, it's all like at the beginning of the game or, you know, the relative beginning of the game. It gets a little more challenging, not nothing too extreme. I think the next time I fight him, he'll have his little goons coming after me. And then eventually, you'll actually have to shoot him <gasps> six times instead of three. But again, it's nothing too serious. We're already almost at ten minutes. Well, not really. But I know that the next cutscene is pretty long. And so, yep, here comes the police. Never thought you'd see Mario behind bars, but... Court is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing fair Isle It's like Delfino the courtroom of, like, the infinite abyss. I mean, like, the where are the walls? With polluting our beautiful home. And yes, Where's the floor? Well, actually... To be fair, it's not like the camera was really on the floor. Not be aware of what is going on. Just a black background. I mean, it is supposed to be a pretty, you know, a troubling scene. I mean, who wants to see Mario in jail? Mario on trial? I mean, he's like Nintendo's equivalent to Mickey Mouse. It's quite obvious. This horrible Yeah, this guy's sort of explaining the premise of this game. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. You kinda of hard to argue that no, the, the true culprit is someone who looks exactly like him, except that he's I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hear the defendant to claim this entire yeah, island. For lack of a better word. is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Court adjourned. Now it just gets really sad. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the Oh man, I really hope I have enough time for this. Yeah, I think I will. Pollution. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. But the pollution itself is not the main Problem. Unfortunately, I did want to at least Mario do the first mission in this video, this but at the correct. whatever. I, I thought it would be more important to put in that first cutscene. Yeah, the more shine sprites you collect, the more that the island will actually light up, so it's pretty cool. At first, like everything is covered in shade, but that'll change, and it's cool because you got you got to literally see the effects of your progress on the island itself, so. I thought that was a pretty neat feature. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely... The whole even emphasis on, you know, pollution. Mario that's, some, that's something they really utilize a lot um, in the beginning of the game. Maybe not so much towards the end. The situation. Though, on the other hand, I'm not sure if that's really accurate to say. Just for the fact that... You know, what I consider to be towards the end of the game is when I went to go collect all those secret shine sprites, but, you know, they were secret, they weren't really... By the time you go for them, the whole level is pretty much clean anyway, so... I'm not even sure if we could really go by what I just said. Um... I don't really have to end it here right now, but I'm going to because I want to dedicate a whole video to, you know, the initial gameplay. Although it's not really counting that first boss battle I did. Anyway, so, I'll see you guys in a bit. I really hope you enjoy this. I think, of the three, this is probably going to be my favorite. Alright, so, Raygun91 out.